Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday. This is Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, have you ever wanted to do great things for God? You know, something big, something dramatic and make a huge difference. King David did. Uh, in 2 Samuel chapter 7, he says this, Now when the king lived in his house and the Lord had given him rest from all his surrounding enemies, the king said to Nathan the prophet, See now, I dwell in a house of cedar, but the ark of God dwells in a tent. And Nathan said to the king, Go and do all that is in your heart, for the Lord is with you. David wanted to build the temple for God. So they take the tabernacle, move everything into the temple, and it would be a permanent structure in Jerusalem. David had the spot picked out. He knew what he wanted to do. Uh, and, uh, and then that night, God spoke to Nathan the prophet, and Nathan went back and said, um, by the way, God says no. You can't build the temple. You can't do it. Now see, God had given David victories over all of his enemies. God had raised up David uh, from a shepherd boy to be the king. And God promised to make David's kingdom last forever. And that was part of the promise that he made to him. He said, like, hey, I'm going to establish your kingdom. And he was talking about, you know, basically the Messiah is going to come from your line. But God told David that he would not let him build the temple. Now, his son would build the temple, but I'm not going to let you build the temple. And when God said no, this is interesting. When God said no, David didn't whine. He didn't complain. He didn't disobey. David praised God. I mean, think about that. He, he, he praised God. He said, who am I that you have blessed me? Who am I that you've exalted me? Who am I that you've allowed me to lead your people? He recognized that there were things God wanted him to do and things God didn't want him to do, and he was okay with that. So can I just encourage you that sometimes God doesn't desire us to do great things for him. He just wants us to obey him, to worship him, to praise him, and to tell other people about him. And therein lies the true greatness in the kingdom, faithfully doing what God has called you to do. So uh, let's be great servants of God and do exactly as he asks us to do. And therein lies the path to greatness and the path to blessing. I hope that helps and I hope that encourages you. Have a great day.